Hi, this is Martine LaDuke at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. Hi, I'm Ginger Rem at Brooker Creek Preserve. This is life science at a social distance. Today we're walking to the upland habitat where it's a little more dry and sandy, sunny and hot up here, and looking for the gopher tortoise burrow. This is one of our gopher tortoise burrows and uh, the apron of the burrow is the part out front there where they've kicked out the sand when they were digging the burrow. They'll lay their eggs in the apron of the burrow sometimes, so you never want to step on that section. This was from the gopher tortoise. The difference between a tortoise and a turtle is that a tortoise lives in the dry upland habitats and the turtles will go in and out of the water. This is a threatened species and we have some scientists here that study our gopher tortoise population because we want to protect the gopher tortoise that we have left and they help to study the population and see about their reproduction. This is Dr. Jeff Gessling and his wife Peyton. Uh, Dr. Jeff teaches at Eckerd College and he's also been studying the gopher tortoise here at Boyd Hill for a few years. And what are you going to show us today? How you measure them? Sure, so we can show you first how we measure them. Um, <clears throat> there are several measurements we take. This is an adult female gopher tortoise. Um, we can tell she's an adult female if you flip her a little bit upside down. Her bottom shell is called the plastron. And if you look, it's generally pretty flat. Um, and so females have a flat plastron, whereas males have a plastron that has a deep concavity, or it's kind of like a cavity on the bottom. So we take a lot of measurements um, from both male and female tortoises. The standard measurement we take is called carapace length. This top shell is called the carapace. Um, and so we just measure it from the tip of the front to the tip of the back. So this tortoise is 282 millimeters carapace length. Maturity in tortoises is driven by their size rather than their age. Um, so she's about 80 millimeters above what maturity would be. So this is a relatively small but adult female gopher tortoise. And I noticed that her scutes are really smooth and she doesn't have those growth rings that the younger mm -hmm. ones have. Is that another way that you can tell how old she is? Yeah, so they, they get pretty smooth here maybe when they're in their, I don't know, 20s or 30s years old. Okay. And then they stay smooth for several decades from there. If we look at her plastron again, um, they gain this furrow kind of as the next step in aging. We don't know how old they are when they gain that kind of deep trench there in between these individual scutes, okay. but that's definitely a mark of being very old. The tortoise is here part of a mark recapture study, so we're interested in knowing how, old, how long they live, um, how quickly they grow, the ratio of males to females here, and so part of that is that we have to identify them um, uniquely. In a mm -hmm. way, we have to give them a name or a number that sticks with the animal for its life. Um, and so these turtles all have pit tags. We inject the pit tag down here in the lower side of their plastron. And so if we read her pit tag, there's her pit tag number. Wow. So she's got a, a long series of digits there. The last six are the most variable. So it's kind of like putting those um, chips in your dog? It's exactly it. There have been over 350 different species of animals and insects found in gopher tortoise burrows. There are certain kinds of flies that only live in gopher tortoise burrows and they feed off of the gopher tortoise poop. During fire or cold weather, lots of other animals will find shelter in the gopher tortoise burrow. Everything from rattlesnakes to coyotes, armadillos, other types of toads and frogs. So a keystone species meaning if the gopher tortoise were to go extinct, all those other animals wouldn't be able to survive either. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the gopher tortoise and their habitat here at Boyd Hill Nature Preserve. You can learn more in upcoming episodes when we will have Dr. Jeff from Eckerd College and his wife Peyton to tell us more about their research here. Thanks for watching.